Is it time to buy or sell Amazon stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Amazon. Our initial report was published on our website on Wednesday, July 12, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since April 13, 2023, our system has ranked Amazon as a strong buy candidate, giving it a score of 5.93. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. Those who followed our analysis would have enjoyed an impressive gain of 27.73% since we first listed Amazon as a buy candidate 62 days ago. This translates to an average return of 0.45% per day since it was listed as strong by candidate. The stock lies in the middle of a strong rising trend in the short term and a further rise within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend suggests a potential 31.69% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 29.49% and 38.41%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a minus 7.35% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 46.08% and minus 4.30%. This translates to a price range of $70.53 to $125.17 after a year. Our latest daily update for Amazon includes the headline, Stronger Technical Forecast for Amazon Stock Price After Wednesday Trading. The Amazon stock price gained 1.57% on the last trading day, Wednesday, July 12, 2023, rising from $128.78 to $130.80. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 1.88% from a day low at $128.83 to a day high of $131.26. The price has been going up and down for this period, and there has been a 1.25% gain for the last two weeks. Volume has increased on the last day along with the price, which is a positive technical sign, and, in total, 3 million more shares were traded than the day before. In total, 53 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $6.96 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $146.57, and the lowest price was $81.43. Currently, the price is 10.76%, or $15.77, below the 52-week high, and 89.98%, or $1,174.40, below the all-time high on January 15, 2018, when the price reached $1,305.20. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets On Wednesday, September 28, 2022, Truist Financial set a price target of 170. On Wednesday, September 28, 2022, Truist Financial set a price target of 170. On Wednesday, September 28, 2022, Truist Financial set a price target of 170. On Friday, July 29, 2022, Wolf Research set a price target of 170. On Friday, July 29, 2022, Canaccord Genuity set a price target of 200. Analysts have given Amazon stock a general strong buy rating. They rate the P-E ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for Amazon. The Amazon stock holds by signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a positive forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general buy signal from the relation between the two signals where the short-term average is above the long-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $129.35 and $125.24. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. 
A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Monday, May 1, 2023, and so far it has risen 28.17%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Volume is rising along with the price. This is considered to be a good technical signal. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. The stock had a golden star signal on Monday, February 13, 2023 in the long-term chart. Golden star signal is when the short-term moving average, the long-term moving average, and price line meet in a special combination. This combination is very rare and often followed by long and strong gains for the stock in question. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, by signal 50 days ago. Bollinger, by signal 25 days ago. Short-term moving average, by signal 2 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal not applicable days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Holds a sell signal. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 4 days ago. The long-term moving average, by signal 83 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 80 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Amazon On the downside, the stock finds support just below today's level from accumulated volume at $124.25 and $109.82. There is a natural risk involved when a stock is testing a support level, since if this is broken, the stock then may fall to the next support level. In this case, Amazon finds support just below today's level at $124.25. If this is broken, then the next support from accumulated volume will be at $109.82 and $105.45. In general the stock tends to have very controlled movements and with good liquidity the risk is considered very low in this stock. During the last day, the stock moved $2.42 between high and low, or 1.88%. For the last week the stock has had daily average volatility of 1.94%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Amazon, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per-share earnings. A high P-E ratio could mean that the stock is overvalued or that investors expect high growth rates in the future. In other news, the next earnings report for Q3 2023 is expected on October 25, 2023. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Amazon. There's no significant resistance from accumulated volume above, which means the stock could move upward swiftly under the right conditions. In this case, you might want to enter a position and use volume to determine when to exit. On the downside, Amazon encounters its first support level at $124.25. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Amazon from multiple analyst sources is strong buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. The five most recent insider trades were executed by Solipsky Adam, who bought and sold 1,000 shares or options in the company. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of minus 82.090. Overall, insiders purchased 160,660 shares and sold 1,706,831 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $125.91, minus 3.74%. This stock has low daily movements and this gives low risk. There is a buy signal from a pivot bottom found 49 days ago. Is Amazon stock a good buy? Amazon holds several positive signals and is within a strong rising trend. 
As the old saying says, let the trend be your friend. We therefore consider it to be a good choice at these current levels and we are expecting further gains during the next three months. We have upgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a buy to a strong buy candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Thursday, July 13, we expect Amazon to open down $0.505 and start trading at $130.30. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.